A new restaurant is now open in Leewoods Park Place Shopping Center. Pig and Finch features bar snacks, plates, and entrees all influenced by French and English cuisines. Travis Pyle is joining us in the KC Live Kitchen today. He's the executive chef at Pig and Finch. And Chef Travis, what are we making today? Uh, today we're going to be making a bourbon bacon marmalade. Oh. Everything is made, everything is better with bourbon and everything is better with bacon and you've combined the two. All right, exactly. so how do we get started? Bourbon right. and bacon Well, marmalade. basically, you're going to start out with your bacon. You can already kind of get a little rendered and cooked. And uh, after you get that going, now, you can... Now, marmalade, I've heard that term bandied about a lot. What is a uh -huh. marmalade? Uh, marmalade is basically something that's thickened with sugar. Okay. And uh, you can use stock. In this case, we're going to use coffee, a little vinegar. Okay. And bourbon. Okay. So you're going to go ahead and add your onions and kind of get those going here. Yum. Yep. And you always want to season, even even though it's going to be a sweet dish. You know, you kind of get that sweet and savory thing going right. on. So, so what kind of dishes would you put this marmalade on? Uh, you know what? You can do a lot with it. Today, uh, the application we're going to be using using it for is the French toast. Oh, you're putting it on French yeah. toast. Yeah, but you I can do it, it on a sandwich, like a, a ham and cheese sandwich, something like that. Okay, so got great. it. All right. So basically, you're going to get your onions a little sweated out, a little seasoned, got and it. then you're going to deglaze with your bourbon. Ah, the bourbon. Uh -huh. Let that cook down. Let it cook down. Actually, you can even flambe it a little bit. Oh, okay. That's crazy so, talk. All yeah, right. a little bit. Which, oh, are you going to flambe? Yeah. You go, chef. Ooh. All right. Well, all right. You didn't, no, you well, didn't, there we go. You didn't need that eyebrow, did you? No, <laughs> no I'm glad I stepped back. I'm okay. not afraid of fire, all so right. it's fine. Things so are cooking. Kinda, yeah, so you kind of want to let the uh, alcohol burn out of that, which it'll... All right, well, while, it's, while it's cooking down, let's uh -huh. talk about some of the, the, the other plates that you have at uh -huh. Pink Uh You know, we got a lot of stuff. We have a uh, Saison DuPont baked mussel, which actually we make with a Belgian-style ale. It's called the Saison. It's from Brasserie DuPont, yeah. which is a, uh, a brewery in Belgium. And uh, it's actually my favorite beer in the world. So we're going to deglaze with a little bit more of uh, the uh, apple cider vinegar. All right. Yep. And then a little bit of coffee. Coffee? That sounds uh -huh. weird. I can't it wait is, to try that. All right. <laughs> I trust you, Chef. I All trust right. you. Good deal. Then you're going to add your brown sugar. This is going to be your thickening agent. Okay. Which is going to make it a little bit thicker once it cooks down. Okay. And then you're going to take a little bit of syrup, just a little bit, or for that syrupy flavor. Dabble, do you? Uh -huh. Just like that. And then you're going to let it cook down. And this is basically what you're going to end up with All right, right here. Nice syrupy, bacony goodness. Now, from from this to uh -huh. this, how long does this take? Uh, it's to gonna cook take down? you probably about 20 minutes. You want to simmer it. Don't don't take it too hard. Simmer, simmer it down now. You simmer simmer down now. Exactly. Um, what is your favorite dish there? My favorite dish there, I would have to say. You're hyping the, the mussels, but what's your favorite? Uh, the braised lamb shank. Yeah. Yeah, it's absolutely delicious. Okay, so this can go on pretty much anything you want because it's lethal yummy goodness. Exactly. Um, I say we try it. I say let's just throw caution okay. to and let's do you it. You got it. <laughs> now, you guys say you are a, uh, you're a gastro, I want to make sure I get this right, an American-style gastro pub. What exactly yes. does that mean exactly? Well, a gastro pub is a, uh, your, is a fork. Is, go for it, is a restaurant that um, basically pairs cre creative food with, uh, with fine craft beer. We have no forks. Fail. Uh oh. <laughs> I'm going to use my fingers. I don't even care. I think you should go I know for it. I'm, go I'm for not it. judging you. No don't one at home me. is judging don't you judge either. Me. Just do one of these, like turn the plate and just bite it. I'm totally, I'm going to make it like a sandwich. Yeah, I was going to say, you can kind of put two together and, and eat it just an, like a sandwich. It, there you go. And you have an event on Saturday? Uh, yeah, we actually are doing brunch on mm -hmm. Saturday at 9 a.m. to 12, and we have a real nice brunch menu. We do have it Saturday and Sunday. And so they can try the marmalade. Absolutely, and this is the exact dish that it goes on right here, French toast and the bacon. Bacon bourbon marmalade. <laughs> I just, yeah, I went there. I went there. You are just on fire today. I am. I Holy am. cow. This okay. is so good. Well, thank you so much for stopping by. It Not looks delicious. I think Michael is, mm. is going to finish that off. Okay. I think Eat so. Up. Mine, please. Yeah, you're Mine. taking off. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, and we appreciate you stopping by and bringing us some bacon. Not a problem. Marmalade. Thank you very much. That was right. good stuff. All right, coming up tomorrow. How